what's good youtube it's your boy duck in these fields and before we get into anything man make sure you like subscribe and drop a comment down below say what's up say if you want to say what is over your uh, say what is ever in your mind obviously i can't talk right now i think it's because i got this fucking hat on yes the cowboys suck right now that is that it's old school news i know that shit i don't give a fuck i got the gear so i'm gonna just rock it i don't give a fuck you can slander them all you want to I don't give a fuck. Take them two, two cents and shove it right up your fucking ass. But hey, man. <sighs> oh, you know what day it is. Fucking leg scratches. Leg scratches, leg itches. I'm all fucked up, man. But hey. Time to get in that triple OG, double OG, George Carlin. Like always, man. Like always. Let's talk even more watching. breath game and hey all my George Carlin stands out there let's get into it thank you very much well tell you what now to balance the scale I'd like to talk about some things that bring us together things that point out our similarities instead of our differences because that's all you ever hear about in this country is our differences that's all the media and the politicians are ever talking about the things that separate us things that make us different from one another that's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. They Come on now. With the shit going on in the world right now, you have to realize that's all they want to do is spread negativity, and they do not want us to be united. It's kind of ironic. We're the United States, but yet it's a constant battle between literally every single little major group. You know, it's so weird. It's so weird. We have the left attacking the right. And like the higher up positions than the politicians always going at each other's throats. And it affects everything else, man. You see people in the fucking, I drive around the neighborhood. These motherfuckers, I kid you not. They had all these Biden flags draped up. And then the house across the street has all the Trump flags like, just board it up. Like, what the fuck is the point of that, man? We get it. We get it. You guys are voting for different people. Who gives a fuck? Don't nobody care for real. Jesus, man. Keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. Fairly simple thing happens to Thanks. work. You know anything different, that's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything you can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. You know how I describe the economic and social classes in this country? The upper class keeps all of the money, pays none of the taxes. The middle class pays all of the taxes, does all of the work. The poor are there just to scare the shit out of the middle class. <laughs> Keep them showing up at those jobs. Hey though, he's not fucking wrong, man. He's not wrong, okay. Now I did see like some celebrities, like um, I, we know some rich people pay taxes and it's, you know, it's documented and shit like that, but they know how to avoid paying a fuck ton of taxes, you know, tax write-offs. Um, giving it to charities, this, this, and that. Yeah, that's good, but overall, during this pandemic, the rich just got hella more rich. Just hella more rich, man. It's like, what the fuck, man? People are, are still out of their jobs. But y'all just sitting up top and be like, fuck it. It is what it is. Business is business. It's fucked up. So. It's fucked up. So stirring up the shit is something I like to do from time to time, but I also like to know that I can come back to these little things we have in common, little universal moments that we share separately, the things that make us the same. They're so small we hardly ever talk about them. Did you ever look at your watch and then you don't know what time it is? <laughs> and you have to look again. And you still don't know the time. 
So you look a third time and somebody says, what time is it? You say, I don't know. <laughs> Do you ever notice how sometimes all day Wednesday, you keep thinking it's Thursday? <laughs> and it happens oh, over and sure. over all day long. And then the next day, you're all right again. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself standing in one of the rooms in your house and you can't remember why you went in there? <laughs> Yeah. And two words float across your mind, Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> you ever been talking to yourself and somebody comes in the room and you have to make believe you were singing? <laughs> and you hope to God the other person really believes there's a song called What Does She Think I Am? Some Kind of Putz? <laughs> Little experiences we've all had. You ever been sitting in a railroad train in a station and there's another train sitting right next to you and one of them starts to move and you can't tell which one it is? I've never been around trains, so... Sadly, I can't relate to that. Ohio gang, not many trains that you can ride on here. If any. I think there's like one, maybe. How about when you're out on a small boat on a windy day? You ever been out rocking back and forth for three or four hours trying to keep your balance? Rough seas, little boat. Then you get back into the shore and you're standing on the dock and you can swear there was something inside of you that was still out there rocking. <laughs> Did you ever try to pick up a suitcase you thought was full, but it wasn't? <laughs> and you go, Doo? And for just a split second, you feel really strong. Or a verse, be like. Oh. How about when you're looking through a chain link fence? Did you ever notice if you're just the right distance from a chain link fence, sometimes it seems to go What is that? How do they do that? Did you ever try to tell somebody they have a little bit of dirt on their face? You can never get them to rub the right spot, can you? <laughs> Say, you got a little bit of dirt right here. And they always go, we're here! and you just want to slap the bastard. Yeah. Do you ever notice how awful your face looks in a mirror in a restroom that has fluorescent lights? Every cut, scrape, scratch, scar, scare, bruise, boil, bump, pimple, zip, wart, welt, and abscess you've had since birth. I'd be like, Damn, I'm smacked. <laughs> like, jeez. I went out looking like this? All seem to come back at the fuck same it. time. And all you can think of is, I gotta get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Did you ever notice sometimes when you're walking with uh. your arm around your date, one of you has to change the way you're walking? <laughs> Men and women don't walk the same. One of them has to change. Either the man has to walk like this. Or the woman has to walk like this. Joey, how are you? I'm seeing it. I've never experienced it. How about it, when you're going up a flight of stairs and you think there's one more step? <laughs> and you go... I fucking hate that shit. I hate that shit. Or when you're going down the stairs and you're like, you fucking fall, you catch yourself slipping. Oh my God, that shit is awful. And then you have to kind of keep doing that, you know? So people will yep. think it's something you do all the time. I do this all the time. It's the third stage of syphilis. Same thing happens when you're going down the stairs. You could swear there was one more step. <laughs> Holy shit. My hips are in my chest. Oh. Hate that for me. When you drink grapefruit juice in the morning, do you go like this? 
I do too. Why do we drink it? It's like ice cream throat. You know when you've been eating ice cream too fast and you get that frozen spot in the back of your throat, but you can't do anything about it because you can't reach it to rub it? You just have to kind of wait for it to go away? And it does? Then what do you do? Eat more ice cream! What are we, fucking stupid? <laughs> that boy sucks. Did you ever fall asleep on a late afternoon and wake up after dark and you don't know what goddamn day it is? I'll be waking up like, damn, what years and how many days did I sleep through? I fucking hate that shit. Or when you're sleeping and you fall asleep with all your clothes on and you wake up in a sweat, it's like a little bit and you're like, what the fuck? What, what is wrong with me? You still got your shoes on, your socks, fully clothed, got your fucking hat on. Uh, it's just like when you have your head on the pillow. Do you ever notice when you have your head on the pillow, if you close the, if you close the bottom eye, the pillow is down there. <laughs> then if you switch eyes, the pillow moves up there. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit, Dave, look at this. The mystery of the moving pillow. I think it's related to the chain link fence mystery myself. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have to sneeze while you're taking a piss? It's frightening, isn't it? It's frightening because actually you can't do it. It's physically impossible to sneeze while pissing. Your brain won't let it happen. Your brain says, stop pissing! We're going to sneeze now! I never thought of that. your brain that. knows, you might blow your asshole out. I never thought of that. I don't think I've ever sneezed while pissing. Oh my god, that's fucking crazy. My mind just got blown. But hey man, let me know what you guys say in the video in the comments down below. Say what's up. Say whatever you want to. Say whatever is on your mind, man. But hey. <sighs> Triple OG. Y'all know the deal, man. Hope you guys are having a great day. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Almost at 700, man. That's crazy. Blessed up. Appreciate you guys. And let's just get the family stronger, man. Road to 1K before the end of the year. Sub if you want. Drop a comment if you want. Drop a like if you want. It's all up to you, man. But hey, appreciate you. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.